Good afternoon. Welcome to our first CPS Energy Supply Chain Facebook Live event. My name is Maria Garcia and I'm Vice President of Supply Chain here at CPS Energy. We have today a team of supply chain leaders who will be sharing helpful information to encourage our commercial customers, but especially those who are local, small, the diverse companies in our community. We invite you to come register with us for future contracting opportunities. Para nuestros contratistas locales de habla hispana, les pedimos que por favor visiten nuestra página de cpsenergy.com y seleccionen español para leer esta información traducida en su idioma español. Gracias. That was a, a brief invitation for our Spanish speaking contractors to uh, please uh, uh, enjoy the, this information that we're going to review but on our website in Spanish. Uh, we know that many of our commercial customers have experienced significant challenges in this COVID-19 environment. Um, we are your neighbors. And in the spirit of people first, which is in our DNA, um, thanks to our, our CEO and our, our president CEO, Paul Gold Williams, we care about the hardships that you're experiencing um, right now. Not only do we want to help keep your doors open, we want you to grow. We want you to survive those challenges. We're all in it together, as, as a lot of us here. Um, and with me and my team this afternoon um, is our president and CEO, Paula Gold Williams, and we've invited her so that she can please share um, with us some of her thoughts specific to our local businesses. Welcome, Ms. Paula. I see that you're uh, thank online. You. Uh, we, thank you. For, we thank you for joining us this afternoon. Um, fortunately, we, we have you for a few minutes and we understand you've got other commitments. So I know we're going to have a, a good conversation here and then we'll We'll see you um, um, still listen, but I think you've got other commitments. So um, with that, mindful of that, we will we will ask you the first question um, and, and kick off our conversation. Can you please share um, with our viewers how you see our value in the partnerships with local businesses um, during this time of COVID-19? Um, absolutely, but let me um, start by saying I am honored to be here and um, this is a highlight for my day. Uh, before the call started, Marie and I were um, comparing notes. She said she woke up excited about this. My first thoughts were about some other things I have to do today. And so I wasn't as excited, but then when I remembered, I got a chance to talk to our customers who also have the ability to help us. Um, this is the highlight of my day. And so um, I'm rushing, but I am, I am glad to be here. Uh, I'm going to be in and out, and so that's why uh, I, I will ultimately um, cut off my camera, but listen as much as possible. Um, we we want to listen as much as possible. We want to hear from you, and we want to partner with you um, now more than ever. I mean, we always have wanted to. Uh, Marie and I were also talking about, and our leadership team does this often, to think about how different the world is today. And um, it should be full of opportunities for, for small and local businesses. Uh, but here we are in the middle of COVID and this is a difficult time and it, uh, it makes us more passionate to try to use technology, to try to virtually connect. We, we basically feel like we are constantly physically distant, right? We can't, we can't all be in a room together, but we wanna be socially connected. And um, we want to, do what we can to help uh, businesses through this very tough period. Um, and we thoroughly understand that you're our customers twice. I mean, you live in our service territory um, and, and you have your personal lives here, but you're also pursuing dreams and fulfilling services and activities that this community needs. And so you hear from us twice, both on your commercial and business side and on your personal side. Um, we, we love this community. I am born and raised here. Um, we feel like CPS Energy has been involved in helping many businesses uh, survive and thrive. When we first started at CPS Energy, uh, started the company, there were only 8,000 people um, in San Antonio. And now here we are. And we do believe that, the, that we need to keep slicing the pie uh, as much as we can to give um, opportunity to you 
and to try to invite you into our world and again, help your business uh, thrive, help you personally thrive. And so this is an open invitation. We understand what the stakes are. 2020 is tough, but we believe partnering together that we could be helpful. Thank you, Paula. I'm, I'm hoping that a lot of our viewers will take that message um, to heart, just like we do, and that they will feel further encouraged to register um, with CPS Energy so that we, we talked about there's plenty of work to go around and there's lots of opportunities. So we really, really would like to see them reach out and say, hey, I'm interested. Um, how can I register and, and be receiving future bid opportunities? Um, speaking of, of just the things that we've got in the queue um, and, and future opportunities, it's pretty exciting for us right now because just last week we released our Flex Power Bundle request for information. Um, can you share the significance of this RFI with, with our viewers, Paula? Sure, absolutely. So, um, you know, we're doing a request for information. Um, you know, we are CPS Energy. Our goal is to find and uh, look at look at the landscape globally and apply and bring solutions on the energy and the energy technology side locally, global to local. And um, that is our business. And in some ways, we do understand that that causes some challenges. We're specialized. We're in the utility utility energy industry. The complexity of the industry is big, but we believe that we are part of the economy. And as we continue to be able to bring energy solutions, we also need services at the same time. We need people again to help us so we can focus on energy and people can help us um, run the business. That's actually a 24 seven 365 business. Um, the basis though, and I think it's super exciting because it helps uh, shed a spotlight on San Antonio. Yes, we, the most important thing is for us to help our customers to, to get to this economy, to keep everybody safe. I, here I am wearing my, my mask. I'm in the office. I've been in the office, um, every day, you know, since this has begun, uh, because we are an essential service. Uh, but we also need to think that, you know, our assets are aging. Our generating generation fleet is aging. <laughs> We do have multiple types of generation. Some of those units are 40 and 50 years old. And just like a car that gets aged, you've got to replace it. The smart thing to do is replace it with what we can, what we think is the most compelling energy solutions out there. So we put out an RFI in 10 languages, including English. Um, we put it out to the globe. We're trying to get people to bid on, bring more business. Um, to San Antonio and deliver more power. Um, and the general profile of the ask is we want people to make a bid for up to 900 megawatts of solar, up to 50 megawatts of energy storage and up to 500 megawatts of what we call farming capacity. It is a stabilization because solar does depend on whether the sun is shining or time of day. It's time of day, weather, weather dependent. You need something to make solar a great bundled package. And that's why we call it the Flex Power Bundle. Um, so again, we think it's it's exciting. Uh, we, we are getting interest. Uh, the RFI will be out there through um, August 31st. From that, we'll try to get more ideas, find what people think solutions are. But that one, that one procurement will create a cascade, we believe, and we think it'll support the business community very well. And then we hope by the end of the year to actually put out the RFP. We're going to put you know more information out there for all of you. But again, because it's all for us an ecosystem, we want to make sure that you're aware of it. And then um, we, our team will also talk some more specifically about it if you have questions. And it, it's, there's also information on our website. Thank you, Paula. It's it's it is definitely exciting. You consider our energy industry for decades really remained unchanged. Um, so to see now the technology evolving um, so quickly, um, it's, it's pretty exciting to be, um, it's, it's a full uh, uh, learning opportunity for so many of us, but we continue to engage our community to your point and, and make sure that they see in the spirit of transparency what, what value we're working on, on bringing locally. Um, so speaking of locally, um, 
the one one last question for you is what what message would you want to leave for our small our minority women veteran hub zoned um, local businesses, especially because of the challenges that they're they're undergoing right now? Well, the the biggest thing I want to say is um, we appreciate you. And uh, again, in the time when we can all feel isolated and maybe not in the know, um, CPS Energy, what we're really trying to do is is make sure that you have every advantage possible as a, as a part of our community um, to know what's happening and to see if there's a match that we can create so we can we can spread the wealth, um, cut the pie, uh, be inclusive, uh, and inform. And so um, these are difficult times. Um, we are we are trying to be creative. We're trying to keep everything going. Um, we do have our people out in the field every day trying to make sure that the energy stays on and we are with energy stays on no matter how hot it gets or how much how bad the storms get get power restored we know keeping our operations up in general is important to you so that as you start to have business come back in that can be reliable but again we think it in terms of the more that we can do together the more that we can partner with you the more that we can support you um, understand, you know, what what you're interested in and then try to brainstorm what what our opportunities might be to do some creative things in the future. I mean, we're open to all of that because, you know, this period, this really unprecedented period of uh, a pandemic and the economic downturn across the globe um, is is daunting. Nobody would have ever imagined it, but we're a great community together. We will get through this time together. There will be a vaccine. But our our goal is to keep, you know, we we all need to stay afloat and do the best that we can and just continue to be creative. Please know that CPS Energy um, is here for you towards that goal. Thank you, Paula. We, we appreciate uh, those those uh, last few words are very um, full of, of care for our community. Um, so we appreciate you joining us. I know you're going to step away. OK, uh, we, we thank you for your time. Thank, thank you. you. Thanks, everyone. Okay. We're going to transition um, to now uh, introduce the, the supplier, uh, sorry, the supply chain team at CPS Energy. This is our leadership team, um, and we represent roughly 100 folks, uh, but we're 3,100 strong that wear the, the CPS Energy logo at the end of the day. Um, but these leaders here, um, they really support a lot of the crews and the folks that you see out in the field. Without these folks and the, the roughly 100, they're the ones that procure a lot of the items that you see in those trucks. And they're, they're to me, the lifeblood um, of, of our company because they do so much. They're unseen, you don't see them, but they're out procuring and securing contracts and doing a lot for our community. So thank you to this leadership team. I'm glad y'all are here today um, and we get to introduce y'all. And we're gonna start with um, Sylvia Samaripa, who's gonna give us a little bit more information as to what she does and she's gonna share information on how you can register to, to learn about more bids um, in, the, in the coming future. Ms. Sylvia. Thank you so much, Maria. My name is Sylvia Zamaripa. I am the manager of business management and analytics. So my team is over supplier outreach as well as analytics and reporting for supply chain. I'm so thankful to be here with you guys today. I'm coming to you from my home here in San Antonio, Texas to keep socially distant. But again, I want to thank all businesses for joining our session today, including our local and diverse businesses. We welcome the opportunity to do business with CPS Energy. We are a multifaceted industry, and we need all types of services and commodities all on a daily basis. And the first step you'll need to take to do business with CPS Energy is you will go to cpsenergy.com and to our new supplier registration page. And on this page, you'll see an overview of some of the items you'll need to complete your packet. Once you've gathered those items, you'll click register now, and then you'll walk through the process of completing the packet and registering your information. We will then process your packet, and from that point forward, you'll receive notifications on those uh, materials or services that you've registered for. But if any time during the process you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to our team at supplierdiversity at cpsenergy.com or 
1-800-242-2474. Again, it's supplier diversity at cpsenergy.com or 210-353-2474. And this information will also be provided in the chat area. In closing, we look forward to continuing our partnership and I will hand it back over to Maria. I hope you all have a wonderful afternoon. Thank you so much. Thank you, Sylvia. We appreciate that, that information. Uh, but please know a lot of that is available, um, as she said, on our website. So please look us up. And if there's any questions along the way, please reach out. Um, no question is, is too simple or too hard. You please engage us and we're here to help you. Um, next, we have uh, Rick Urrutia. And he's going to um, also introduce himself, give us a little information as to what he does, he and his team. And then he's going to give us some information on um, current bid opportunities. Rick. Thank you, Maria. Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, my name is Rick Gerutia. I'm the Senior Director of Supply Chain. And uh, my, my, uh, the team that I work with uh, daily is, um, we're, we're split in two. We have our commodities procurement uh, team and then our, also our warehouse operations, which that team uh, mostly directly works with our field crews to ensure that we have uh, reliable energy and gas uh, to our customers. Um, so thanks for spending time for, with us today uh, to learn about, I'm gonna talk about our current uh, CPS Energy bid opportunities. Uh, just quickly, uh, these bid opportunities are, are located on our cpsenergy.com website and under our work with us and procurement supplier bids, you'll find a bid opportunity uh, section in there. Um, one thing to, uh, that I wanted to bring up about that page is that these opportunities uh, come up very often. And so I encourage everyone to keep an eye out on this page on a daily basis uh, to see what opportunities are out there for bids. Um, each bid opportunity does have a, uh, a contact in which you can get a hold of if you have any questions regarding any of these bid opportunities. Uh, so now let's, uh, I'll, I'll quickly go over uh, the current bid opportunities that are existing on that uh, site. So the first one is a, a digital uh, contact tracing uh, services contract. Uh, that, that, uh, those bid responses are due by August the 10th. Uh, next, we have a geotechnical engineering services contract. Uh, bids are due August the 13th. Uh, we have a safety and industrial services uh, contract, bids due on August the 7th. Uh, next, a charter transportation services, it's a three-year term contract. Uh, the responses are due on August the 17th. Uh, we have a request for information or RFI for our enterprise geographical information systems or GIS uh, application. Um, that we use in our company. Uh, that, that bid is due August 21st. We have a contract for the supply and delivery of heavy construction equipment. Uh, that bid is due August 27th. A two-year term contract for inspection, testing, and repairs of fire uh, suppression equipment. Uh, this, this contract is specific for our power generation team. Uh, that bid is due August 24th. Um, as previously mentioned, uh, we have our Flex Power Bundle uh, uh, RFI that's out there, and it is uh, due on August the 31st. Last, uh, we have a purchase and installation contract for our security equipment, uh, and that bid is due September the 2nd. So those are our bid opportunities uh, currently. Again, please uh, keep an eye out on this website. Uh, it will change frequently and we look forward to your participation. Thank you for your time today. And I'll hand it back over to Maria. Thank you, Rick. Appreciate you sharing that information with our viewers. Um, our last speaker is uh, Ryan Hoke and Ryan will also be introducing himself and giving us a little information as to what he and his team do. And then he's going to share the uh, future bid opportunities that we see in our in the queue. Ryan. All right, thanks, Maria. Uh, like Maria said, my name is Ryan Hogue. I'm the director of procurement here at CPS Energy. Uh, my team is responsible for establishing all of our service related contracts. So contractors working for us physically um, out in the field and in our office areas. 
and I, I'm very happy to be speaking with you all today about it. Um, so uh, as mentioned, I'll be covering the upcoming solicitation opportunities that, that we anticipate advertising in the coming months on our webpage that Rick just reviewed. Um, with, with, with all of those, uh, I'll remind you that, that if you register with us as, as a vendor in our system and you select some of the, the families that are related to the, the contracts that I'll cover, you'll be receiving email notifications as well when these, when these bids are posted. So really encourage you to register so you're made aware when these things happen. Um, so I'm gonna cover, uh, we, we basically have three general categories of procurement here at CPS, uh, commodities, professional services, and general services. I'm gonna start with the general services category and cover some of the upcoming bids that, that uh, are coming your way in the next uh, couple weeks, uh, maybe even a couple months in some cases, but we're working on these all now on our team. Um, first, uh, we have an overhead construction service contract uh, coming out soon. In our security area, we have a security fence and gate installation contract, a security equipment supply and installation contract, uh, as well as a traffic and security officer service contract uh, to provide traffic uh, uh, services for our crews out in the field. Uh, we have a printing services contract coming up soon uh, to support all of our printing needs at CPS Synergy. And uh, last is a water well maintenance service contract. We have water wells at many of our locations that need to be serviced, and that, that contract will cover all those services. In our professional services category, uh, a number of engineering contracts are, are expiring here in the next couple months. We're looking to replace those. Um, these engineering contracts will support our transmission uh, planning area, our transmission design teams, our electric and gas distribution teams, and also our power generation teams. So a lot of engineering work coming up soon as well. And we also have a land surveying contract that's gonna be solicited in the, in the next couple months um, for land surveyors. So be on the lookout for those. Then uh, last is our commodities category. Um, within our commodities category, uh, we're, we're always procuring a number of safety items. Uh, one of the ones coming up soon is a um, ANSI class two and three safety vest. Um, so you'll see a solicitation for that soon. Um, we have a co uh, miscellaneous conduits and fittings contract. Um, it's a pretty large contract that's gonna support all of our conduit work um, for our crews and to supply our storerooms. Um, so that contract will include supply of conduit, pipe, um, various PVC, HDPE, um, a lot of couplings, connectors, adapters, anything and everything related to conduit. So be on the lookout for that. Uh, we have an overhead line accessories contract that includes supply of grounding rods, clamps, anchors, et cetera, to support overhead lines um, out in, the, in our community. Um, we have an LED streetlight contract that will be hitting the street soon. So looking to procure some LED streetlights um, to support, again, the, the local community. And then uh, last, I'll mention uh, our fleet area um, has a lot of plans this year to buy uh, some construction equipment, equipment um, rated both medium and heavy duty. And then uh, we are procuring a number of alternative fuel vehicles in the next couple of years. So we'll be bidding out a large contract for that. And then uh, last is a various uh, uh, size trailer contract to support our fleet operations and our crews with a number of different types of trailers. So that's all I have. Um, thank you again for, for joining the event today. Uh, really look forward to your participation in these upcoming solicitations. And remember that our supply chain team is here to help um, you with any of the questions that you have uh, for submitting bids or proposals or filling out our documents. Um, please don't hesitate to reach out. Um, Sylvia provided the contact information. You can, you can email supplier diversity at cpsenergy.com if you're in, interested in these, and we'll be happy to, to help you with that process. So with that, I'll turn it back over to Maria. Thank you. Thank you, Ryan. Well, we appreciate uh, the time that, that our, our folks, our viewers got to, to join us this afternoon, learn hopefully a little bit more about how we do business at CPS Energy. Um, as our team said, um, we're here as resources for you. Um, we're neighbors. We're a lot of us. We all live here in the community, and and you employ many of our neighbors and our family members. And so we want to keep you in business. We want to keep you, um, as Paula said, uh, growing and and thriving, um, especially with all the challenges that we have before us. So we really appreciate you joining our first supply chain Facebook live event. We will have another one in a few months. Um, matter of fact, we'll probably start planning it tomorrow. <laughs> so we look forward to, to announcing a, a follow-up 
but for this one, uh, we really appreciate your time. We thank you for, for joining us and giving us a few minutes of your afternoon. Um, and we ask that you please stay safe and that you stay well. Thank you.